D-Lab everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to select the proper transformer to build a class A amplifier using a 6AQ5 output tube and in this video we're going to do this with the D-Lab ECBA class A circuit and the little cub power supply board. Here we go. Well, here's the easy way to determine the proper power transformer if you're going to build a little 6AQ5 Class A amplifier. And that's what we're going to do here. So the heart of the amp will be the D-Lab ECBA board and this little circuit board will actually work with any Class A design because this simply supports the preamplifier section and the power feeds to your output tube. Setting bias and selecting the proper power transformer is a different matter. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to test this transformer. If you look at a data sheet for a 6AQ5 tube, you'll see that it wants approximately 250 volts plate. Okay, so you got to make sure that the power transformer that you're using does not ex exceed that level. So here's my transformer that I've chosen. It has a 6 volt winding and of course the high voltage with a center tap. So first I'm going to plug it in so you can see the total high voltage which is 427 volts. Now I'm going to move one of my leads to the center tap because after we rectify this that center tap is going to go to ground. Okay, That's pretty much how they do it on all these amps. So I'm going to plug her back in. You can see we got about, let's say, 215 volts. So if you look at your magic formula, you say 215 times 1.41. They're saying that that is approximately 300 volts after it's rectified DC. However, that's not really the case. That would be unloaded DC. We need to load this transformer for the current that the amplifier circuit is going to draw. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to hook up my little rectifier board. Okay, We're going to rectify this high voltage to high voltage DC. We'll put a load resistor on it and we'll measure the DC out and see if that falls under the 250 volt window that we need for 6AQ5 tube. All right now we're set up to test high voltage under a load. So we have the transformer going to the CUB1 circuit board. It rectifies it. There's a pair of 1N4007 diodes and then of course it has a string of filter caps. So what I did is I took a 10K 10 watt resistor and strapped that from the high voltage out to ground and our meter is watching the high voltage. So if we were to say okay we've got 300 volts DC divide that by 10,000 that should be approximately 30 milliamps of current draw and that's pretty close to what our 6AQ5 tube is going to draw when we set the bias. So I'm going to plug her in watch the meter Remember, we have a load resistor pulling 30 milliamps of current. We started with 300 volts DC, supposedly, according to the formula. But what we really care about is the power under load, because that is going to bring your Class A tube alive. Okay, I'm plugging her in. So you see we have approximately 258 volts at 30 mils. It's probably not exactly 30 milliamps because it's 258 volts divided by 10,000. That's a little over 25 milliamps. So this transformer will work fine for a Class A 6AQ5 amplifier build. Alright, so hopefully I have transformed your opinion of power transformers. But really what this video is about is to help you select the proper power transformer when you get ready to build these amps. If you go by the specifications that you read online, that's open circuit voltages that they're giving you off that power transformer. It is not loaded voltages and that's a completely different animal. 
So a lot of guys get into ant building and they buy a power transformer and when they apply the voltage it's much higher than what they expected and that's because they didn't do a test under load to see what they'd really get. This is what I do for every amp build. I look on the tube data sheet, I see what that tube can handle and I try to hit that, right? And that way you have a long lasting amplifier design, right? The other reason I did this video is though is since I've put out the information about these boards, some people have wrote in and said, well, that board's only good for a certain design, like a 6K6 or whatever. No, it's not true. This board is simply the preamp in the driver section for your output tube. High voltage and bias setting is what determines the output of your amplifier. So if you want to build a 6V6 amp, you're going to put 400 volts into this guy and you're going to have a different bias resistor. If you want to build a little 6AQ5, right, you're going to have lower high voltage and a different bias resistor. That is the, the variable. This is the constant, okay? Same goes with a little rectifier board. His job is to simply convert AC to DC and then power your amplifier. So these two items can be used on any design that you wish. I hope this information helps. All right, so a little sneak peek for you guys. You saw the power transformer that I picked out for the 6AQ5 amp. Let me show you what it's going to. So here's what our circuit's going to go into, guys. A Command Chief made by Static. This was an old TV antenna amplifier. I'm reusing the chassis with some additions. Here's the power transformer that we just tested. 6AQ5 output, 12AX7 little 5k output transformer and the preamp board will go underneath. It's going to be a really cool project. Stay tuned, you'll see it coming up soon.